I think Sean will be mighty relieved to come back to the table. And that poor safety shot he played last visit didn't cost him much, only three points. safe. I don't know if he played to put the red there. 25 points behind. It's no good to him on the cushion. Well, nobody could clear it from there. but he's only the one loose red so you wouldn't think this puts a lot of pressure on the safety shot for Neil that 25 point lead he's got is it's quite a big one Again, you can only sit back and admire his potting ability. And I've just looked at his face. Great pot. He may not be on pink. Well, certainly the black doesn't go. He was hoping to be on the pink, but I don't think he is. Guess who he belongs to? <laughs> That's Alexander Rocky. Robertson. Oh, he's cheering on that pot. <laughs> Robertson That's definitely a case of like father, like son. Although Blaine had a shock of blonde hair like that, didn't he? Took after Mandy, though, eh? That's Stephen's son for anyone interested. Or wondering who we're talking about. Of course we're interested. And that's Neil's wife, Miller. I always get embarrassed don't you, having to watch this. <laughs> I'm talking about her. Well, he tried to pot his way out of trouble there. Well, he's been a little bit fortunate. I.e. he could have left that red near the yellow, and that would have been an easy starter. <coughs> There is reds to the left corner, but a bit more difficult than the red next to the yellow would have been. He just has to concentrate the pot here. Leave the cue ball around about where the red is for the pink. Ooh, where's this red ball going? Where's it going? It was so far away from the intended pocket, it could have gone anywhere.
indeed the starter for his opponent. Now well, let's have a look, 26 points the lead. Still needs three of these remaining reds, so it's not that straightforward. One more. Bad contact. I'd like to follow through off the cushion for a choice of yellow or green. When you see the cue ball leave the bed of the table. Sophia's <coughs> going to continue this break. And got a thin cut on the green. The red on the left hand side is obviously fine for Neil being a left hander. It's not a problem. Yellow does pot to the left centre. There wasn't as much pressure on that shot just by virtue of the fact where the Three. the reds are situated. All right, they've left an easy starter, but you wouldn't fancy your opponent possibly to to win the frame if you miss the yellow. But it's a, certainly a chance for Neil to to clinch the frame now. Just wants one good positional shot. Just having a look now. I don't know about the potting angle on this. If he can, he can possibly avoid the green. Can he avoid the the right middle pocket? Well, in the end, he used the green, but he's not judged the cannon as well as he would have liked. And he'll do well to keep it going now. Thirty points the lead, but still forty-three remaining. Possibly play the pink, stand the white in behind the blue. Just snooker. Sean on both reds. Yeah, alternately just roll to the blue. Certain snooker. You're right, John, that's a better one. Easier. Yeah, I was thinking for the pink safe as well, you see. Yeah. I wouldn't commentate on any more safety shots. But he's in a spot of bother here now because, well, you think if he hit this red foolish, he wouldn't leave it. He'd be playing it dead weight, but we know how the misrule can come into play if you just miss it as he's done. Foul, the miss. And missing it Neil like Robertson that, fought. Neil Robertson. I don't think I'll have it replaced because if he pots this red, he'll go 35 points in front with 35 remaining. Can he pot this red and get position on any colour? That's all he needs. Well, you could hear the sigh. He wasn't happy with the contact. Well, and why would he? Why would he be happy with it? Leapt off the table. So he obviously hasn't run through far enough to be able to pot the pink. And I don't know whether he'll. Well, you see, he's not on the pink. If he hadn't got the heavy contact, he may have been able to run through. Yeah, I can understand him not wanting to take a chance on trying to pot the green. The reason being, if he missed it, there's surely an easy safety shot for Sean Murphy, who, remember, can still tie. And if he comes off the yellow, half ball right hand side, it's a big blocking area behind green and brown. Oh, he'll be disappointed he hit it like that. Here, Robertson, what? He'll be disappointed he hit it like that, and if he's just got the snooker with the yellow, or stopping Sean hit the left hand side of the red, he's been very lucky. He's been very lucky. He 
he played that cue ball behind the green and brown. Can't beat a bit of luck at this game for all the skill that's involved. <laughs> I think he can get through to the gap and hit the red, but can he get it safe? If he could hit the edge of it, of course he could try and get the cue ball behind wow. it. Oh, he's hit the black. Neil Robertson set. Hit the black. So just at the moment, the run of the ball just favouring Neil Robertson. Just watch him flick the black on the way up. Right now is well beyond the reach of Sean Murphy. After the next frame, he there'll be a mid session in interval, and Sean Murphy has conceded he'll need to get that one. You would have thought Neil Robertson going to leave the arena, build him up for the last frame before the mid session interval, but he now leads 7 4. Yes, two in a row now for Neil Robertson. And you just get the feeling, guys, that chances for Sean Murphy not being taken, it seems to be slipping away from him just a bit here, Ken. Slightly, yeah, slightly. He's not taking it, the full advantage of the chances that he's getting. And this is a massive frame for Sean Murphy. Doesn't want to go far down. Uh, he must win this, I feel. Uh, but yeah, he just doesn't seem, okay, we've seen some good breaks from him. Uh, but when the chance, when it comes down to the nitty gritty, it's just you feel Neil Robertson has not that he has more experience, but he's more sort of uh, astute in that department. And uh, he's winning a lot more of the scrappier frames than, than Sean Murphy is. What have you noticed, Steve, about Sean's strengths and weaknesses this week? Uh, well, it's something that Sean's tried to work on in the past. We're talking of generally about safety play. Uh, and, and I don't think, as uh, was mentioned, I think, earlier in the week, he's much freer amongst the balls. And uh, John Virgo, I think he said in commentary the last couple of games, prefers to see Sean amongst the balls just knocking him in. That's his strength. You can't force that, otherwise you're playing kamikaze snooker, effectively. So how do you get in amongst the balls when you're playing against a player like Neil Robertson, who can score just as equally as you in the open frames, but knows how to keep it tight when needed? That becomes difficult, and that's the problem all the top players face. Uh, shot selection and how they go about playing the style of snooker that John Higgins has done so successfully for many years. Where do you go? Do you become more attacking? Or do you try and learn your trade in the tactical department? It's a tough one, but everybody's got to try and improve themselves. Yes, indeed, because we've always seen Sean Murphy as a renowned front runner. He's brilliant yeah. when he's ahead. Absolutely, and he, he even said, I remember this week, that he, he was sort of inspired a little bit with the way Judd Trump has come to the fore now, and that he was going to go for more shots. But sometimes you can't just keep going for them all the time. You know, sometimes you have to know when to sort of tighten up a little bit and play the safety shot because sometimes it's not only sometimes the pots that win you the frames but sometimes a clever little safety shot may win you a frame and we saw on that last frame how clever Neil Robertson was that when the opportunity came about he knew where to tuck him up he knew when to snooker him he knew when to wait for his chance and he's winning a lot of those frames in this final like yeah. that. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit like sort of people that are streetwise compared to people that are sort of slightly naive it's not yeah. necessarily something you can teach you're not saying that Sean's naive which we're talking at the top level you're being ultra critical mm. some people t seem to have a sense of how to play that type of game and others seem to be just a little bit more open mm -hmm. and they're lying the problem how do you improve something that isn't necessarily anything you can actually grasp as a, as a concept but Neil Robertson has learned to do that because it was only a few years ago that he himself was going for absolutely everyone yeah, yeah, yeah. Ev everything rather and, and many people were saying to him you've got to tighten up you've got to change the way you approach the game but yeah. there's a difference between tightening up yeah. and and having that sense of when there's danger and when there's not mm. it's a very very fine dividing line. I don't think I don't think Sean Murphy can win this final by tightening up now but I think at certain stages and certain frames he has to be aware that going for the pot is not always the right shot you know what I mean he has to just like 